Little by little, a step each day, it was Jeannie who captured his heart. Henry, she named him. Henry, you see, is a squirrel. We first noticed him in early spring, tucked neatly into our bird feeder, feasting on sunflower seeds. He was obviously a nervous youngster who came to the feeder every day and fled into the safety of the trees at the slightest approach. Each day, Jeannie edged closer while talking softly to him. And as days passed into weeks, Henry fell in love with Jeannie. Or maybe it was a pecan she was tempting him with. We do know she fell in love with him, and we want to believe it's a mutual affair. In any event, Henry put his trust in Jeannie. And as you can now see, Henry is totally spoiled and has adopted the whole family. He makes regular visits to our back door for handouts. And if his chattering goes unheeded, the little rascal climbs the screen. Henry's visits to the back door are a constant irritation to Puddin' our cat. But a marvel of fascination and wonderment to Andrew, our grandson. In fact, I guess you'd have to say he's become a marvel of fascination to all of us. But the bottom line is, Jeannie is his favorite person. For her, sitting in the yard and relaxing is a thing of the past. Henry sees to that. In self-defense, she must always have a pocket full of pecans, which she doles out one at a time. By now, tireless Henry must have a thousand pecans buried in ours and the neighborhood yards. Yes, Henry is a source of pleasure to our family. If we dared let him, he would gladly come in the house. But we shudder to think the frustrations he would encounter trying to bury pecans in the hardwood floors. Meanwhile, he lives contentedly in the neighborhood trees. And oh yes, one day recently, as our friend climbed the back door screen, we noticed something for the first time. Henry isn't Henry at all. Henry is really Henrietta. <laughs>